today we are going to learn the difference between the congruent figures and similar figures at the end of this lecture you will you will be able to identify which two figures are the congruent figures and which two figures are the similar figures so currently i have drawn the two figures in both the columns and currently we don't know which of these two figures or which pair of figures are congruent figures or similar figures so because we don't know currently what are the conditions or what are the properties that you need to check when you are given with the two uh, figures in geometry and you will be you have to tell whether these two figures are congruent based on those properties uh, or you can say based on the, those conditions so i'll tell you today the conditions that are required for identifying the congruent and the similar figures keep this in your mind the word congruent is pure geometrical word as we don't came across this word in our daily lives or we so this is a geometrical term today you will be able to understand the be able to understand how you can identify the figures based on the properties of the two um, the, uh, based on the properties of the two figures so so uh, here we have the two figures you need to decide uh, to whether these two figures are congruent or not you have to check these Thing, these four things all these things are not necessary but these things are, are are must for you in order to identify whether the two figures are congruent or not so i'll tell also tell you which properties are must for identifying the congruent figures and which are just for your understanding if you are given with the other, um, scenarios as well so here first of all we have the shape shape of the two figures here we have two triangles that is a b c and d e f uh, what do you say the shape of these two figures are same yes because these are both of these are both are triangles and their shapes are same so we can say that the, these are these two figures are congruent figures no we can't say based on just the shape this is one parameter this is one property that is required for identifying the congruent figure so you can say that this is the first condition that you need to check then we have the size now size of the shape size of the two figures of or you can size of both the figures for which we are going to decide whether they are congruent or not size of both these triangle is same as i have drawn them by keeping in view the measurement of all the three sides of both the triangle as if one side is of 3 cm the other is the side the same side of the other triangle is also of 3 cm and same is for all the uh, for the rest of the two sides and we, you can say that the side both of these triangles are same so this is the second condition that is required for two figures to be congruent so these are the two main conditions that you need to check before deciding whether the two figures are congruent or similar so so after checking these two condition there are two more uh, uh, you can say these are uh, these are uh, just Uh, for your understanding that if you came across the two figures that are of same shape that are of same size but if their orientation in space differed for that, that means if you can say if one triangle is in a direction if i if i draw here like this and the other triangle is in this direction so can we say that these two triangles are congruent or these two figures are congruent yes these two figures are still congruent if first two conditions are met so after checking the first two condition the third is third third is not the condition that is some extra property of you can say some extra or you can say some additional scenario you can came across it doesn't matter how uh, two shape are uh, lying in a space they can be in same orientation so it doesn't matter the thing that matters are the first two conditions that I, we have already discussed then we have the property of replication keep this in mind that the two figures will always replicate each other even though they are in different orientation we can change their orientation and can map one shape on the other uh, as they are of same size and if they are of same size they must map each other they must replicate each other so this is another additional property that you can discuss or that you can um Uh, uh, you may came about or you can may came across uh, while identifying the congruent figures now we move towards the similar figures let's check the same properties in the similar figures then we will we will be able to differentiate properly between the congruent and the similar figures again the first 
property or the first thing that we have to check while identifying the similar or congruent figure is the shape. As we are comparing the two shapes, so it is must that both the shapes should be of same, both the shapes should be same. That means should, both the shapes should be either a circle or a square or a parallelogram or any other geometrical figure. So that means that it, the first condition should be there for both congruent and similar figures and should be same for, for both of them. So this is the first condition here as well. Then we have the, so this first condition is same in both congruent and similar figures. From this first condition, we can't uh, decide here at by staying at this position that whether the given two figures are congruent or similar. We have to move to the next step. Second condition is the size. Size may differ in similar figures. Keep this in mind. Similar, it is not necessary in similar figures to be of the same size. They just need to be of the same shape. So this is the second thing that you will ca you will came across. So you can say this is the second thing that you will came across that you have to check while identifying the similar figures. If the size of the bow of the two figures vary, you will just stop there you will properly say that these are just the similar figures they are not congruent figures because their size differ from each other so you can say that the circle b is of different size from the circle c so these are similar figures you can't say these are congruent figures because their size may differ so this is the second thing that you need to check while identifying the figures so the next, the additional things that we can check, orientation, orientation can be different of the two figures. Here it doesn't matter. And replication, no. The two figures can't replicate each other because they are not of the same size. Their size may differ. If I put the circle B on circle C, it will, it will not map it. It will not coincide with the circle so here I have the circle C is mapped by with the circle B. Now you can easily say to see here that, that that the circle C is not disappeared behind B. It is obvious that it is of circle B is smaller in size, so they are not mapping each other. It means there is no replication in the similar figures, but in congruent figures, they are exactly the replica of each other. So these are the properties that you have to keep in your mind. You have to check while identifying whether the figures are congruent or the or they are similar. Now one important thing is you can start congruent figures are similar. But you can't say that similar figures are congruent. If I write here, so, so this is the this is another important thing that you uh, need to understand. So congruent shapes coincide when mapped to each other. Similarly, the in, while, while in case of similar figures, they are just, the similarity basically just refers to the close resemblance, but not quite same. Keep this in mind. So let's have some figures and let's check whether those figures are similar, congruent, based on the criteria that we have discussed above. So here we have to check whether these four set of figures are congruent figures or similar figures and there is also one another uh, one more thing the figures can be neither congruent nor similar this is very important thing you have to keep in your mind how to check let's see first of all we have the first set of figures that are the two triangles now first thing that we have to check the check in order to identify the similar or congruent figures is in both them in both of them we have to check first the shape whether the shape of both of these figures is the same no they are not of the same shape then here we have to uh, here we have to stop and we have to declare here that these two shapes are neither similar nor congruent we need not to move to the second condition to check whether their size differ or not we have to stop at the first condition as both of both of these are of are of different shape so we can't say these are congruent or similar figures. So for this, we have to say these figures are neither similar nor congruent. And we are, we are going to use here the letter N for them as they are uh, neither uh, similar nor congruent. For congruent, we will use C and for similar, we will use S. Now we'll move towards the second pair of figures. In this, we have one hexagon and one pentagon. 
Now, can we say that these are congruent or similar figures? No. Again, their shape is different. We can't say these are similar or congruent figures. They are of different shape. So, again, these are neither similar nor congruent. Then we move towards the third pair of figures. These are the two squares with rounded corners. First condition is the shape. Whether these are of both of uh, both of these squares are of same shape? Yes, these are of same shape. Now we have to check the second condition to differentiate between the congruent and similar figures. So the size of both of these shapes are differ from each other. So it means these are not congruent figures. These are similar figures because their size may vary. So say their size may vary. This is the definition of similar figure. So we can say that these two figures are similar figures. Then we have the next pair of figures. So these are two hexagons having the six corners. So both of these we have to check first the shape. Their shape is same. Yes, their shape is same. Next thing that we have to check the size. Their size is also same. So it means they are congruent figures. Congruent figures and they are also similar figures you can say. As I have already discussed above that congruent figures are also similar figures. But similar figures can't be congruent figures. So these two figures are congruent figures because of same shape and size. So two things at the end I will emphasize on two properties, two important properties that you need to check while identifying the figures. First is the shape, second is the size. And for differentiating this congruent and similar figures, you have to check the size basically. If the size differs, these are similar, those figures are similar. And if the size is, is exactly the same, those figures will be congruent figures. So that's all from today's lecture. Thank you.